Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Seven Days to Die Alpha 18.1, and this is episode 20. Today is the aftermath of the Seventh Day Horde, and as you can see, missed the episode from the other day. Um, <laughs> those zombies had a field day in here. And uh, we're going to have to start looking into fixing this up enough to maintain the structural integrity as well as uh, cover the areas that uh, are a problem. Now, one of the things uh, that happen, besides five or six different entry points into the house that they made is they do come from all directions however it seems like they have, they're coming from over here and around the back and here in the back I don't think they came directly down from here but then again I didn't exactly have my eyes on this part of the property uh, they did mostly come in through the front and this side is mostly uh, undamaged actually um, yeah the front is the part it looks like it bared the, the most uh, brunt of the damage and they really gutted this place um, so yeah we're gonna have to start uh, working on that so let's go back upstairs and I, now everything's different so I have to kind of get used to what the house is like now, but let's get some wood and make some frames. And let's see. Um, I don't want that many. I want 100 of them. So that's just the start, because chances are we're not going to have uh, a base built up yet by the day 14 horde. So we're probably going to end up using this place again, and that's not what I wanted. So yeah, we're going to probably use this place again for the next Horde Night. And that's kind of a problem right there. Hmm. And we could go like this, I guess. So we just kind of want to get it buttoned up. And uh, ready to go for the next battle. At least now we know where the weak points are, the points that they would uh, come through. We have an idea, I should say. We don't exactly know for sure. Okay, so that's covered. All right, we want to rebuild the wall here. main reason why is right now it's it's a uh, already made structure so we don't have to spend a whole lot of resources on it uh, and and to just fix it up although there's a lot of damage and uh, some of which was caused by, by me I'm sure but we'll be saving on resources that we can um, put into a proper base and of course I'm I'm gonna 
try to keep keep it where I am uh, making the resources myself. But I might, I'm, I'm probably will supplement it with uh, cheating stuff in. So that's just the way it is, I guess. One of the things I did was, uh, well, I did it at the end of last episode. I moved my junk turret uh, just so that uh, it covers a, a slightly better field of view based on what where they're coming from um, in the house. So. Okay, so I'm getting... Kind of low on wood. So that's going to be a thing. Um, getting more wood to patch this up. But, you know, I was already... I wasn't at the optimal spot with wood anyway, so... There you go. But yeah, I'm, I was pretty pleased with the uh, Horde Knight. It didn't really disappoint me. Um, gave me something to, to think about. And kind of learn what, where to expect zombies to come through. Actually, mm. yeah, we'll cut these out. What I'd like to do, if I can't uh, get a base up, I'd like to put in some uh, some more turrets. Now you can only have one uh, at present with my skill level, only one turret, uh, junk turret, active at one time. And then I think you can increase the range at which it's active or what it shoots at. And then at a higher level, you can use two turrets, which is nice, and kind of what I'm going to be aiming for uh, to cover more area. But I'm also thinking of going towards the electric ones, which I think you, there's no limit on how many you can have there. Um, as long as you have the power, of course. Um, and that way I can really protect the house. Rather, I'd rather protect the base. Um, you know, build, build it and have it properly de defended.
Okay, so we're kind of getting the, the outer edges taken care of here. I'll have to go outside to do the corners. Look at that experience, though. I'll probably level up uh, at least once by the time I'm through with this. Whereas before, I think the only way you could level up was killing a bunch of zombies and crafting didn't matter, which is kind of unfortunate. Part of the reason why I didn't like Alpha 17. I mean, I liked it, but I preferred the older versions a whole lot more. And I'm really glad that Mad Mole and the Fun Pimps kind of learned their lesson there. Although I'm still not exactly pleased with them. For a variety of reasons. Alright, so that's looking decent. I'm not going to go crazy in here because it doesn't look like there's a lot of damage and I'm going to need to get more wood. I want to close up as much as I can. Yeah, that's, that's it for the wood. Alright, so let's... Um, Yeah, this stairs are all jacked up. Alright, um... Put that in there. We're gonna need some scrap iron for just a couple of spots uh, to upgrade. Let's, uh... Let's go logging. Here looks good place as any. Yeah, catch your breath a little bit here. Timber. So that was 132 pieces of wood. Okay, it looks like we got some lead over here, which I'm really not worried about uh, getting lead or anything like that because I think I got enough bullet tips. The main thing I really want is um, nitrate and coal. Now, I know where I can get some coal fairly easy, but I'm going to need to do some real digging to get the nitrate. I haven't even seen a nitrate deposit in this game, so um, I don't know how that's going to be. Actually, I take it back. I have seen one in my off-camera game. I don't remember what it looks like, though. I just don't remember what it looks like. Now this episode is not going to be an hour long. 
and I apologize for that. I'll probably make up for it by doing two hour long episodes next week or something. Um, actually, actually, I probably won't come to think of it because I want to introduce a new game to my channel. One that I've been playing for quite some time, but uh, it was only on November 21st, I think it was, that the latest DLC came out, and uh, that game is Battletech. Now, uh, if you've watched my channel for a while, or, or maybe have noticed in the... Uh, listing of videos I have some Mech Warrior online videos. Well Battletech is the same as Mech Warrior. Um, it's the same same universe and everything. And uh, it's just with the game itself it's more of a strategy game rather than a simulation. I tend to like both games. Um, actually, I like strategy and simulation games more than uh, survival games because I played them. Well, survival games are more of a of a newer thing, uh, a newer genre. Uh, whereas simulation and strategy have been around for quite a long time, and that's all I played early on was various things like uh, oh there's Dune 2 which is based off of the Frank Herbert book series and Dune 2 is actually the very 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 first real time strategy games so that really uh, attracted me and that, of course that started off the whole Command and Conquer series and I'm into that as well. But uh, yeah, strategy, sim games where you know, like flying and or in a giant robot. Those are the games that really drew me to to games. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to get at least three episodes. A week of Battletech. Uh, the new DLC, uh, I believe it's called Heavy Metal. Uh, there's been three DLCs out for, I think. See, there was. Crap, I can't think of it right now, but uh, there was one that came out last summer, last spring. I'm drawing some attention here. Okay, she's in a proper place. But, uh, yeah, there was a one or two DLCs that's been out. One was called Urban Warfare. And that's the most recent, I think. And then this new one, the one that came out just, just the other day, is uh, Heavy Metal. Introduces... Uh, several new mechs as well as weapons and weapon systems and I haven't played it yet I, I got it installed and I, I've been playing the stuff before then but I haven't played the new DLC content uh, um, since it come out so I'm kinda saving that for uh, A video series. I've been just kind of holding off because I was waiting for this new DLC to drop. And so I hope you guys uh, that watch this game uh, enjoy that kind of content as well. S strategy and, and all that is 
Not exactly for everybody, I guess. Uh, some people like more faster paced kind of stuff, but... Uh, it's a bit of a diversion from first person survival games. And that doesn't mean I'm not gonna make seven days of die content. This is on top of what I make for, uh, you know, on top of seven days to die. So, um, not gonna be depriving you, you die hard, die hards, <laughs> uh, from that. Hallelujah, you can tear this apart. I thought you'd have to put down a uh, land claim block to be able to, to, to do this, or at least to get the parts from it, but maybe I'm just a little bit tired, <laughs> not uh, thinking straight on this one, but. And at some point, I'm going to have to come through this shovel and uh, get these blue blocks as well as the uh, bags of cement. And something is askew. Little snack there. Alright, we don't need to dwell into this too much. And uh, okay, let's head home, drop off these parts. Yeah, I, I hope to have at least three episodes uh, sorted in this week's uh, video. So you probably have, probably, but not 100%, I'm not 100% sure that you have yet. Uh, uh, you probably have noticed them in the playlist or the uploads for this week. If you don't, it's either they're not up because I haven't been able to make them, or you're just not looking. <laughs> either way, I, I'm going to have fun with it. I hope you guys will join me for that game, and that you guys enjoy it too. One thing that uh, can be said is the Battletech universe has got a very long and prolific lore to it. So it's, uh, you know, you get started in, into Battletech, you almost have, have homework to do to learn, you know, the history of uh, certain characters, certain, certain pilots, certain mechs. Uh, one channel that I, I watch from time to time is uh, Black Pants Legion. Uh, particularly with Tex. Tex is just hella cool. <laughs> I can't help but listen to him and laugh my ass off at some of the things he says and uh, he also does a comprehensive uh, history of the Battletech universe and trust me uh, it's got a lot of history I mean this the the stories in Battletech like stretch over a thousand almost a thousand years I think so there's a lot to go through on it. Uh, I, I also, besides uh, playing the computer games, I used to play the miniatures game, uh, uh, collectible miniatures of, of Mech Warrior uh, Dark Age when uh, that was a thing. And uh, I found it both frustrating and a lot of fun at the same time. Hopefully you guys will too. 
Alright, let's see. Let's get this stuff put away. I was able to get that. Uh, that, that. Um. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna need these to repair that. And then just a few minutes left. Let's see if we can. Uh, Hit a couple more trees. Ooh. Are those across the river? Yeah. Damn it. Ooh, backpack. And we get a tin can for our troubles. Yay. Okay, so all the trees in this quadrant is, is done. Over here and over here. So we got trees up in here we gotta deal with. So it's over across the street here. And on the other part, let's see what this is. Ah, there's an iron deposit. Sweet. I'll get that another time. Lock picks. All right, I kind of want to get this bridge area cleared up. This is a very beautiful spot. I need the wood. I'm also going to have to start mining more uh, rocks. One thing I have to keep in mind is that on day seven is when I went into the crack of book. So on day seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. On day twelve or possibly day thirteen. Um, the books should respawn. And I'm hoping to fill out a collection. This one last tree and call it an episode uh, once my stamina goes back up. Oh, I got some honey. Sweet. Literally. Eh. Okay, we'll cross here. Cannot breathe here. Um, duh. Oh, 
All right. So yeah, we're not gonna do hour-long Fridays this week. Uh, because I am adding the additional content, which I hope you'll at least check out, and if you enjoy, uh, will follow me on that. Um, I I will try. I can't promise, but I will try to get an hour-long Friday uh, next week. In addition, with the 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 new gameplay of Battletech. Um, but the primary one, the uh, primary focus will be on Seven Days to Die. Battletech is just mainly if I have the time for it. But I'll try to get at least three episodes up for that. Okay. Uh... Um, what the hell? Okay, that. That. And that. Uh, let's go out here. Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I, I really hope you enjoy the content and um, are enjoying the series. Uh, check out the links in the description box all of them, every single one, you must it's a command you're, you're compelled to do it <laughs> and uh, I'll see you later twitch twitch